Good morning and welcome to Story So Far. In today's itinerary, we will be riding towards Pratap Nagar. And where is Pratap Nagar, you ask? It's right over there. Now, that's a lake. There is a bridge somewhere over there called Dobra Chanti. We'll be riding through this mountain, crossing the Tiri Lake, and then we'll be riding up towards those clouds. And that's where uh, today's destination is. Now, the sky is clear, which is a very good thing. And why is it a very good thing? You'll find out later. So stay tuned. So someone just told me that uh, this road is blocked for the cars, but they have paved a way for two wheelers. Uh, this is not a main road to reach Pratap Nagar. Um, I could have taken the, the main road, which is short of a highway, but uh, I thought I would stick to backcountry roads. Well, let's see how bad the roads are going to be. We may have to turn back. If they're too bad, let's find out. So I just stopped somewhere uh, on my way towards Pratam Nagar and just wanted to show you this really cool view of Tiri Lake. Um, the view from here is breathtaking. I mean, if you look at this lake, it's it's expanding, you know, um, in a very, very uh, large landmass. And then that's that's the view. That's a, that's a, basically the bridge I was talking about, Dobra Chanti. So we'll be riding across this mountain, crossing the bridge over there. And then just you see them roads, we'll be taking one of these roads and then we'll basically ride up towards uh, Pratap Nagar. This place uh, was being used um, for paragliding. So they would basically start from here and then land somewhere over there where you see those helicopter signs. The, the landing pads. Yeah, that's where, that's where they used to um, land. And the view. Ooh. Oh, that's just beautiful. Wondering this, uh, this road is basically uh, a lifeline for a few, uh, a few villages, which basically falls between two major roads. So that's how they do the connectivity. And uh, the condition here is not so great. I enjoy this because I love riding on these roads, but someone who has to take uh, uh, their kids to school or just go out and buy groceries um, this is kind of a challenge so to the people to the dudes who are riding and ladies no offense so the folks who are riding this road on a daily basis uh, just to fulfill their daily needs uh, you have my respect it's it's right right up there Landslides, uh, they mentioned, should be closed by now because that's this is a landmark which they gave me. Oh crap! I really 
don't want to go slow on these potholes because all it does is basically splash too much uh, mud on my boots and I just finished polishing them yesterday so I think I'm gonna keep it slow on the bottom today. मुझे पता नहीं है एक्चुअली मुझे आइडिया नहीं है looks fun but uh, the only challenge or actually a big of a problem you'll have is when you get flat because there is no one here to help I do not have my uh, puncture packet I don't know how to repair my tire so that's something which I need to work on but if you don't get a flat on these roads I think you're good imagine how hard it would be uh, for someone to take his kids to school for a minute you know and then they talk about shopping migration how are you supposed to live in this kind of situation where you don't even have a proper road and I'm not saying I need asphalt but at least the least you could do is you know have a good off like back country or off-road uh, tracks now look at this the road just turned into I don't know what Good lord Wow God damn it Don't get me wrong, this is fun. But I would never, I would never put my kid on a bike and no, or a car on these roads and bring him here. It's just too dangerous. And then there is a constant threat of stones falling on you. If it rains, there is a very high chance of probability of a landslide on these roads. La 
last time uh, when me and my buddy Sandy did this road, uh, it was way worse. The, the, the narrow passages you saw, the two narrow passages, passages you just saw, uh, they were not even like that now, uh, wide. They were narrower than that. They were all stones. There was dirt. Oh, mud actually. Finally. Oh, we managed to do that. So we were almost uh, near to the Dover Chanti Bridge. We all all have to do is just basically ride through that road, and then we'll be crossing the bridge, and then we'll be riding up towards those mountains. Now, that is basically um, those are uh, floating houses. They are quite good if you want to um, stay in the middle of water for a night. <laughs> You may do that. You can come here. And uh, they are also planning, that could be the rumor, but they are also planning to start landing planes in this lake for tourism. Uh, they would probably be not used for uh, by local people for commuting, but um, they are sure as hell going to be fun when you see planes coming from that direction and landing over here. It'll be a beautiful sight. Alright, we'll continue our journey then. I really didn't want to vlog uh, uh, the road which I just came from because just the boring. Well, it'll get boring. Uh, to watch, not to ride. Riding is fun because you are always constantly active. Uh, you are always shuffling through the gears. And uh, if you are going a little above the speed limit then you are also uh, getting opportunity to basically play around with the corners so it is fun to ride but uh, I'm not sure how much fun it is going to be to watch someone going zigzag on these roads idea what it feels like this is what it feels like Water crossing. dying to a different level so right this corner i don't know what's up next see see this is what i was talking about this happens he came out of nowhere right and then imagine you going like even 25 and 30 on these roads you're going head first into the uh, into the front glass that is not good you either for your family Wow. 
but if you see the road is clear throttle up baby Holy cow, one, oh, oh, oh. Holy cow, two, holy cow, three. On your side. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, four. And holy cow, five. Entering, I just need to ask someone. But the Google Maps says left. Gaji Pradam Nagar about to go with you. Take a bit. No, 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 not nowadays because they have shut all the lights and everything but uh, when there was no covid they they light up this whole bridge and it looks beautiful and it changes color with everything i hope you guys are getting a good view Down, baby, go down. 